With the price of FBS fluctuating constantly and researchers frustrated about unstable budgets, it's time the real reasons for price fluctuation were explained. What many don't think about is that FBS is a byproduct of the meat industry. No one can influence the amount of product available, and there's no way to influence climate conditions or the economic drivers. When it is expensive to feed cows due to drought or an increase in feed prices, for example, what do farmers do? They reduce their herds by sending them to market. In recent times, this situation has reached a pivotal point, with herd numbers at record lows and farmers rebuilding their herds, a process that can take years. In addition to drought, we also have to consider other severe climate conditions like floods and blizzards. For example, a country manufacturing FBS that is affected by floods during the high season for FBS collection. The animals may be there, but roads may be closed or processing facilities shut down. Also, due to recent market changes, large users of Sierra have started the shift to U.S. origin. Usually, large users favored Sierra originating from Australia and New Zealand as these origins have been traditionally considered to have less risk of contamination or poor outcome due to the fact that they are both islands. However, since U.S. earned the same negligible BSE risk in 2013 as Australia and New Zealand, the shift to U.S. origin FBS has increased significantly. So we have uncontrollable climate conditions, which affect the number of cows being sent for processing, and herd size rebuilding. We also have large users of Sierra moving in on U.S. origin FBS, and more countries doing medical research, which is increasing the demand for FBS. The result? The price of FBS is completely unstable.